Hello again, YouTube. How you doing? Um, I thought I'd better come on back on and make a second part to my 17th of June 2016 rapture because I found some a few more bits and pieces as I was uh, sitting mulling on major world events and you know looking at things. Um, and so, if you haven't watched part one, I suggest you go and watch part one because this is the chart where we ended up at the end of part one. But I found six more pieces yesterday, which would appear to be uh, significant. So I thought I'd quickly run through them with you. So the first thing I did, I went back 40 days and we had the transit of Mercury. Um, now, Mercury doesn't transit the sun very often. Um, and the specificness about this transit um, was that it was in Aries as well. Uh, Aries, the ram, the ram's horn, the chauffeur, the trumpet. And that was there. Um, so then I went back 92 days, 92 being the last two digits of Lisa Lini's number, uh, and that takes us to Triumphant Entry 2016, um, which Triumphant Entry seems to feature quite a lot in these bits. The next thing I did was uh, I went back to Rosh Hashanah, Feast of Trumpets 2015, because many people think that the uh, rapture is going to happen on Feast of Trumpets. It's out there. It's the feast that no man knows the day or the hour of. Um, but when I went back to Rosh Hashanah, it was 276 days before the 17th of June 2016. And 276 is the number of days in a full term pregnancy. So I thought that was interesting. Uh, the next thing I did was go back and look at CERN. Um, and the Higgs boson and finding the Higgs boson, the God particle, that was on the 4th of July 2012. That was 1,444 days ago. 444, the number of judgment is there again. Um, having found day counts for 1967 and 1948, I thought I'd go and look at 1917 when the uh, you know Balfour, the Declaration of Balfour was signed. And if you go back 1,917 days, that takes you to Passover 2011. And final one really big event in in mankind's history is Fukushima. You know there are three nuclear meltdowns, maybe more. Um, still go ongoing five years later it's like no one talks about it it's like it's not there um, but if you go back to Fukushima it's 1925 days ago 192 another 192 and it's five years ago 1925 so I thought they were all uh, very detailed bits and I think the the link between Fukushima and CERN there um, could well be instrumental in the judgment that's coming so if we put all those bits and pieces together let's have a look at what we have this is quite a stunning array of signs of dates of day counts so let's just run through it uh, we have 40 days before the 17th of the 6th transit of mercury 40 days is a time of testing 92 days before um, ones, I won't keep repeating the date, I just keep saying 92 days before um, part of Lisa Lini's number we have triumphant entry 2016 100 days before meaning you know 144,000 minutes 144,000 sealed uh, we have the solar eclipse on the 9th of the 3rd 153 days 153 the miraculous catch a fish I felt a change in the spirit I hope it wasn't only me I hope there are many other people that found that um, Feast of Trumpets is 276 days beforehand, a full term pregnancy. The triumphant entry and the major sign that I saw in March last year is 444 days before, meaning judgment. Ariel Sharon's death and the prophecy over Ariel Sharon is 888 days, 88 the gematria of Jesus Christ. Francis became Pope 1192 days ago, part of Lisa Lini's number. Um, the CERN Hadron Collider found the Higgs boson 1,444 days ago, meaning 444, it's got the judgment there. Passover 2011 was 1,917 days ago. Fukushima, the three meltdowns, was 1,925 days ago, you know, the uh, 192, five years ago. Purim 2011 was 1,948 days ago. 
Um, then 1,967 days ago, we had the orb over Temple Mount, 1967 being the year that, Je that Jerusalem was recaptured by the Jews. Um, 2,444 days ago, we have a Barmer's Nobel Peace Prize. Again, there's your 444. So we got a 444, a 1444, and a 2444. And then 8,000 days ago, Sh Comet Shoemaker Levy split into 21 parts and hit Jupiter. And we are now 21 years later, and 8 is the number of new beginnings. I thought I'd add this piece in because if this is the rapture date, uh, and of course no man actually knows the day of the hour, if you go forward 1,260 days from the 17th of March, 17th of March, 17th of June 2016, that takes you to the 29th of November 2019. 291119. There you've got your 11192 in reverse. I mean, what can I say? What an array of events and day counts and everything lining up. I mean, hopefully you will know, um, if you look at this, that you can't add anything to this. If I start adding any days to the 17th of June after this, then all of the day counts go out, all of the numbers go out. So really, for me, it's definitive. Th that pattern is there it's fully verifiable it's totally you can check out any single piece of it that you like and you will find it to be true is it the rapture is it the tribulation we shall see um, but regardless of whether i'm right or whether i'm wrong you need to put your faith and trust in jesus he is the king of kings he is lord of lords he is the maker and master of the universe and he is coming back to rescue his bride, to take his church away. So <laughs> make sure you're rapture ready. Put your faith and trust in Jesus. Repent of your sins, confess your ways, and get right with God. Amen to that. Thanks for listening, YouTube. God bless.